Hello everyone. Today we are starting about the tactical demonstration of example of data type, constant, variable, and object. Even we can learn some event also. This is form design view. Then I double click on the form. Form one load event is loaded. Here you can see that dim y as a string equal to hello means y is a constant value declared as string and on the load event only we are putting down y in a message box here we use dim keyword and you can understand that one dim means private the scope of this y variable is only and only for this load event in comparison of this when you watch to z variable z is also as a declare as a string and we have a predefined value called a widget so z is a global constant value having string data type now let me take a look of one more thing text box lost focus event for this one we can select text box from here and we can select lost focus from this one here you will find so many events are there you can see it it is arranged in alphabetical order different different type of events are there click event double click dispose uh, on mouse over same like this key press lost focus is there in this lost focus we declare dim a as integer means we are declaring some value we are declaring one variable called a we do not know the value of it but when we assign as a assignment operator value of text box one dot text it means the value of text box 1 when you lost focus means when you press tab this particular message will come and in a message box you can see that one whatever value you enter into the A show first then after the message will come value you entered this and Z Z I again repeat it is a public variable that we declared at the starting of the form is a global variable. Same like this for this text box 2 we are moving to the last focus into the last focus value of text box 1 dot text and value of text box 2 dot text. In between this arithmetic operator addition is there and message box is this thing. Finally we have a button and in a button click event what it is written it is a object declaration so we are saying that one x is, a, is an object that represent text box same like here you can easily understand x dot height means the height of text box which is represented by x object is 20 pixel x dot width equal to 200 x means text box that color will be color dot green me dot controls dot add me means current form form 1 controls as a controls add bracket into the bracket x means text box will add then after again we would like to see the message box the value of z is z 
and we know that one it is declared as a public value so it shows the z value then after new form is the new form for this we are writing this is sub r o u t i n e sub routine so p r o g r o n program control transfer to the procedure to the sub r o r o u t i n e sub routine Set R O U T I N E subroutine execution declaration and execution starts here. Fine. Let me understand. For this, we are declaring P as new form two. Again, we can say that one new is there. So here, P is an object, and form two is a class. P dot check when form two will open. Let me execute this thing. When we execute, message box comes as hello. We understand from load event. Yes, this is load event. Into the load event, one pilot variable declared y as string equal to hello, and y is a constant value declared as a string. Into the message box, y is there. It means hello is this name. Now we have the form that is e1. We are entering 40, and when I press tab, you can clearly see that one 40 comes. Under this means in a last focus event, we are displaying the 40. Then after 40 value you entered, and a widget is a global variable. It is very correct because we know that one z public is a scope, z is a constant, string is a data type, and the value is z is having a widget. So z is a global constant. Value having string data type. Not only this, my friend, but we are continue with more. When I enter 20 and I press tab, the addition of 40 plus 20 is 60. By this particular example, we come to know that one last to focus event means when you press tab, when you enter some value and press tab. This event will execute. So let me take a look of text box last focus event. Into the text box last focus event, you can clearly understand and see over here. This is two, and when I press two, that is forty-two. Let understand the code of it. Text box two last focus value of text box two text box one dot text it is itself forty and. Value of text box two itself two. It will make addition arithmetic operator. So forty plus two is forty two. It is display into the message box that you can understand by this thing. Then now let me take a look of the click event. When I press button one, look this text box generate by the use of object, and we understand this thing. By button click event. So here, when I click the button, X as new text box is declared. X is an object that represents text box class. We define X as height equal to 20. So you can see that one height is only 20 pixel. X dot width equal to 200. The width of the text box is 200. X dot back color equal to color dot green. You can easily see that one. The color of text box is green now. And when we execute this thing, me dot controls dot add bracket x, then we can say that one x is adding the text box on the proper location 
in my form. Not only this, but the value of z is a widget. Z is a public variable. So, friend, when we make a last focus of textbox one, a widget was displayed, and when we click on the button, the z a widget is a variable that is string is displayed. Then after, when I click on OK, new form is opened, and into the new form, label look this is form two, and label one is there. So for little bit execution, we are having one more thing. Form two is there. Into the form two, we have trying label one dot text equal to z. And when we try to run this application, there is one error because z is a public variable that it cannot pass the value to another form. Look and read the error. Z is not declared. It may be inaccessible due to the protection level. Means the protection level of Z. Z we declare in the form one as public. You can clearly see here in the highlighting form of this form that the public Z string is equal to a widget, but it can work for entire form one only. This form one is declaring over here. When we come to the form two. It will not work. It will. It can't work, and it is showing the error. And due to that reason, we can say that one the value is not passing. If we want to share this value, how it is possible? How it could be possible? Let me take one solution, friends. Go to the solution explorer. Right click on it. Add new module. I am repeating this step for you. Go to the Solution Explorer of your VB.NET project. Right-click, Add Module. When module is there, we are adding the module. The name of module is Module One Dot VB. Dot VB is an extension. Now I am declaring PUB LIC public where as string equal to A B H I J W E T a widget, and when I declare this one, I don't require this because we already declared the same statement over there. So I am removing from it. We are moving to the module, and we are making one comment line for you. Constant or variable. Declare in module can pass the value to entire VB dot net project. Means we can say that one all the forms in solution. Explorer So now we are starting with F11 to understand how the process is working friends F11 is there we begin we started First of all the program control or cursor will go to form load event it will next pass Then y as string equal to hello. It is written y is as a constant value declared as. And it comes to the message box. The message box will be here. You can see that one hello message box is displayed. Again, F11 we are moving. Now form is loaded. First of all, we are facing touch box one. We are entering 60. And when we press that, the text box one most focus is there. Into this tracing, you come to know that one text box one have 60 value. Again, press 11, F11. Then A as integer equal to value of text box one dot text. In short, we can say that one A is a variable. Previously, here. Y is a constant. We already written into our command line because 
when you execute the program you already know the value of y that is hello and you know the data type of y also that is string but here you know the value you know the data type of a is string integer but the value whatever you are entering no doubt we enter 60 so 60 will be allocated to a we move ahead with f11 and message box display you can clearly see this Sixty is there. The last focus event. Sixty value you enter, and Abhijit is a global variable. We know that one. The effect of global variable is available in our module. If you want to take a look of module, you can see this one. The value of Z is at Abhijit, and it is displayed on the last focus. So. The message is this way. Continue with our filling. We are entering twenty, and when we press start, it is text box two. Only this, you can see this. The value of text box one is sixty. It is displayed under the property. My put cursor here is twenty. Sixty plus twenty. You know that is eighty. So addition is done. Finally, when I click on the button, this is very important thing. Button click event is started. I feel like. X as new text box. As you know, guys, after a new keyword is used, and then after a class or tools are there, we can say that one. Now X is an object, and it is written into the comment line. Press eleven again. It will check. It will represent the height of text box because now X is representing text box. Twenty pixel is the height. 200 pixel is the width. Text box back color will be green. When I use me dot compose dot add means dynamically we are adding text box into our form. Me means form. Control means you know from the toolbox whatever the tools you are entering it is called compose dot add is a method. And X means X box pixel will be added. I press F11. Message will come. The value of Z is equal to Z. Let's check. Yes, the value of Z is equal to a digit. Means in a module, if you are using some variable or constant as a problem, it can be shared by everyone. Now. This is subroutine. It is written in our command line. So program control will transfer to that subroutine. The subroutine name is new form. I press F11 again. We will reach to the subroutine new form. Now P is using as an object. It is already written into the command line, and you understand P is an object, and form two is a class. When we come to that p dot show, we know that one. Previously, x was representing text box. Now, p is representing form two. When I press this one, I will come to form two load event because now it is a process of opening form two. When you write p dot show, indirectly you are saying open form two. Again, press F11. Middle one dot text equal to Z, and you know the value of Z is a digit. It is already available here. My cursor is moving over there. That is called a digit. The value of Z is a digit. And when we press again F11, 
it will be answer and I would like to show the value of z is again in p dot show from one we are written in and you can see this one we have both the forms in our screen and form 2 has a basic value so friend by this particular practical session we come to know that one with the types how we declare what is constant what is variable what is object how can we edit some dynamically tools by object creation if we want to edit by buttons click event we can edit some more and more and more tool how we can open I will click on this again f11 is there we are clicking somewhat fast the color is there controls will add message box is there but you already know that one the message box is showing the global variable new form the control is there it will come to that part and when we come to t dot show you can easily show that one label will be there label one dot text is there so into the label z a digit value will display and when we come to that part look we have both the forms are available this is my form one I repeat this is my form one and this is my form two by this particular screen you come to know that one how the compose are working and compose is processing I'm stopping this recording and I hope you will learn the private means bin if you are using publicly but you cannot share the value from form 1 to form 2 for this one you go to the module module into the module when you declare it as a public z as string either you will give some constant value or either you can take it value from the runtime from the user but you can pass this value from form 1 to 2 from 2 to 3 from 3 to 4 dot 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 n number of forms can transmit the data and that is constant value or variable value again by this form one and coding we want to learn that one here x as object which is representing text box here p is an object because p is representing form two by this two of the example we are already learning about what is constant this is a private constant but value of y is hello this is a open global constant value where the value of z you already know before run that is abhijit myself when i click on the form one button one the object is declared dynamically we are placing the height we are setting up the weight we are setting up the background color we added into the form on the proper place also the message showing the global variable and this is subroutine subroutine is a small part of a program which can execute at any time and it comes any time number of subroutine can be declared by the programmer when our control will be here it will transfer to the this subroutine because you can understand subroutine declaration and execution starts here here again p is working as an object because when we declare the p after as we are using a new keyword and whenever new keyword comes we can say that one that particular name is not either constant not either variable but it is always object and it is written into the command line p is an object and form 2 is a class when we write down p dot show new form will be open that new form has only one label when I double click on to form 2 we are reaching to form 2 load event into the load event we are saying we want we need the label 1 dot text to the value of z and z value we are declaring into our module as a string by this particular example I hope we come to know that one the variable constant scope how to declare global variable, what is subroutine and how subroutine can work from one form to another form. If you want to move from one form to another form, it is really very much easy process here. Subroutine is there, 
but otherwise if you want to use direct that code you you need one object which form you want to open and directly you will use that object name dot show method thank you very much for being with us and practical session we completed about 3 to 4 important concept of vb dot net thanks a lot hello students today we are focus on basic of vb dot net GUI programming using VB.NET. You need to. In this unit, we are discussing about variable, constants, object declaration in VB.NET. Then after we will focus about operator, flow control statements, means decision making and looping. Then we will focus about modular, subroutine and function. Introduction about some property, how we can set it for the VB.NET form. events we will focus various type of events and methods along with this we will start our first windows application with using input box message box multiple document interface and so much on so let me begin friends the first topic is variable variable is a named memory location means a name that is located into the random access memory within a some particular address we know very well they are programming elements that can change the during program execution means whenever you execute the program at run time you will enter some value in it that particular identifier is called variable so this is the basic difference of it that is variable uh, data is stored in a variable that need to be stored in a memory and access at a later time means first whenever you enter the data variable is keep with it into the random access memory and later on you can use it instead of referring to the memory location by the actual memory address you refer it with the variable name means you do not worry to remember at which location value is stored but whenever you need the value you call just variable only variable declaration in vb.net this is the syntax dim is a dimension identifier name that we know variable name as data type example dim a as integer means we know that one that is called initializer and a is a variable name where integer value can be entered means full value number is entered they can also can be initialized at the time of declaration as follow dim a as integer equal to 10 then we can say that one it is one type of constant value before execute the program you know that one the value of a now let me look at the scope of variable suppose any one any programmer declare some variable how much scope of it first of all let me take a look procedure level variable means this type of variable can only be used within a procedure in which they have been declared these are also known as local variables as per example says subroutine subroutine name is my procedure we declare dim x as integer equal to 20 into the message box we put it x and sum what it say in the above code x is procedure level variable and can be used only within my procedure means you can clearly see this one this my procedure value is very much important and when we use it along this only my procedure it is used rest of part it will not use means out of this procedure we cannot utilize our x value module level variable this declaration in this declaration section of the module that can be either public or private let take a look private variable this can be used only within the module in which they are declared for example you can see here private x as integer into the subroutine the name of subroutine is my procedure where we assign the value of x is 25 and sub means subroutine is over we have another subroutine called subroutine display in that one we are using msg box x and sub 
now you understand the power of private private variable x or subroutine we declare into that particular subroutine we are having two subroutine my procedure where we are initialize value 25 to x and sub display to message box in short x integer can be utilized into two different procedure because it is private let we take a look of public variable public variable is really very much important and having a very widest scope this variable can be used across the module for example in a form coding public class form 1 was there and we declare public x as integer so i can use x in so many times look sub my procedure 1 x equal to 25 and sub the subroutine is over then form 2 sub my procedure 2 x 35 and so in case if we declare any variable or any constant as a public in a form 1 we can use it into form 2 in the above code x is declared in form 1 and use in form 1 as well as in form 2 so friend we completed the topic about variable how variable can be declared and what is the scope of private public and the other one now we understand second topic of this lesson that is constant constant are very similar to variable as they also store values the main difference is that value contained into the constant cannot be changed once it is declared means variable you can execute during the execution of program you can enter the value and value can be changed as per user's choice but in constant you cannot change the value when you declare the constant it is value also specify this value cannot be changed during the program execution constant are used in situation <coughs> where we need to keep the value in some memory location as a constantly if you use hard coded values the value is changed and it to be changed in all the location in the code where it can be used to avoid such situation we are using constant means as we know that one friends in a dozen we are having 12 pieces for some scientific calculation we sometimes we use the value of pi the value of pi 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 is 3.14 such type of equation values can be declared as a constant so let me take a look of it as per uh, display on this marker dim constant name as data type equal to any fixed value let me take a look of this the second example is dim x as integer equal to 10 in short when we execute the program this value of x will be stored over there and we know the value of x before execution of the program that is 10 so we can say that when x is a constant the topic 3 object declaration in vb dot net as you friend know that one dot net is basically object oriented programming based language so it has many classes and objects to create the object in vb dot net new keyword is used for example take a look of this syntax dim object name whatever you want to do it as new and class name and dim text box as new text box when i declare text box 1 i am declaring text box 1 as an object and new text box you people know that one in a tool box text box is a tool where we drag and drop this text box in our form so it is simple to understand here after as new keyword is there and after this new keyword text box is a tool but in a part of declaration it behave like a class and here in front of in, instead of text box 1 you can take a b so many things same like that one yeah, when we when you will learn database connectivity dim cn as new oledb connection oledb connection is used for ms access connectivity 
you can see that new keyword is use as is use and c n is my object so we completed three topic among this variable name how variable declared variable scope then after we discuss about that constant how constant can work now we are discussing about topic 3 that is object declaration now let we take a look about vb.net data type and it is very very important whenever you deal with the data and when you will deal with the data you always specify which type of data you enter and friends if you know which type of data you enter you must know about the data type so let we discuss whenever we create a new variable we have assign a data type for the variable the data type specify which type of value can be stored into the variable means if you assign the data type it is fixed at run time or before execution some specific type of value will be entered by the user that is known as type of data or data type the visual basic data type appeared into the table as below friends in this table first is data type name that is short as per name it store only two bytes and it include very small range of data i can say that one it is 16 bit now next one is integer the size is double that is 4 byte and for a numerical data it will not accept decimal value but as you know that one and as you clearly seen here 32 bit then after we are having long long is also only numerical full numerical data the size of long data is 8 bytes the capacity is 64 bits now we can say that one if you want to enter full number without decimal or precision point you can use short you can use integer you can use long now for the numerical value with the precision or floating point let we discuss single is a data type the size of the data type is 4 byte and it is a large floating numbers it is not given the size but it is uh, we can compare that one that's a 32 bit but we can use it as a floating number then after we come to the double it is 8 bytes near to long integer and again you can clearly see that one used to store huge floating numbers if you declare decimal this is the highest data storing capacity in numerical value in numerical value it has 16 bytes capacity my friends and used to store single precision floating point numbers if you want to enter some of the decimal values you have a choice of three data type single double decimal let we take a look of character and string if you have a values that is having a answer of only single character like do you paid the fees your answer will be y means yes and means no will you able to understand the dotnet technology when you press t means true when you press f means false so some of the responses always basically depend on a single character for that one we use character data type and for character data type you use char keyword the capacity of character is 2 byte and it is clearly mentioned in this material that is single character using and after string it is depend on implementing of platform means you can enter n number of alphabets when you declare string as a variable friends the next is boolean data type boolean data type is having a storing capacity of 2 bytes the main speciality of this data type is the boolean data type has only two states either boolean value is should be true or false byte byte means one byte used to store binary data that you people know that when binary is always situated with 0 and 1 the byte data type is an 8 bit variable which can store the value from 0 to 255 it is near to by your keyboard when you have a keyboard of uh, number of keys are there each and every key used with shift key it mean the difference values 
some of the people are using small uh, characters some of the people are using with the shift with the alphabets of a capital characters some numerical value represent some symbols and all means when you use the binary value and key press stock is there and if you want to convert that key stock value into the binary you will use byte data type friend next is date date is a data type where 8 bytes is there used to store date and time information object that is 4 byte any type of data can be stored in a variable type of object means if you want to enter integer value floating value single character value or multiple character value called string you can declare object friends we have a topic topic number 5 visual basic operators operators is a symbol it can represent various various type of uh, response for example if you are picking arithmetic operator that make arithmetic operator you people know that one plus means addition minus means subtraction multiplication division exponential modulus and equal to then addition operator means if you want to join the string in a message box you have some string along with it you want to display some value of a variable you use either and operator or plus operator assignment operator assignment operator it is known as short end operator also equal to means equal to exponential equal to multiplication equal to division equal to addition equal to subtraction equal to and and operator equal to when you want to compare two value when you want to relate two value you have number of symbols are there less than is there greater than is there less than and equal to greater than and equal to not equal to equal to and like operator is also there logical and bitwise operator if you want to provide some boundary level data comparison suppose you want to check it your character you press that is between 65 to 90 to ascii value is there or not at that level if you want to compulsory check it you use and suppose you want to check it within some optional conditional like you press some value either it is less than 10 or either either it is more than 50 at that time we you will you will use or operator miscellaneous operator use guess type that we will take look this is the example that we already discuss it's a very simple sober that is arithmetic operator multiplication addition subtraction regular division here is the example is given dim number 1 has an integer 20 dim number 2 has an integer 3 msg box number 1 divided number 2 the display is 6.6666 so the division is done because here division operator is there integer division display nearest the integer value so if you have like this dim number 1 has integer 20 dim number 2 has integer 3 you will do it then you will get the display 6 modulo and modulo display the remainder of division here you know that one number 1 has integer equal to 20 is given number 2 has integer equal to 30 is given message box number 1 mode number 2 display is 2 because you know that one 3 6 18 and when we divide it 3 6 18 will be, uh, will be there and when we minus 20 minus 18 2 is there so friends it is uh, really very simple to understand modulus operator is there now you have a tick of uh, look of exponential first operand raised to the second operation operand number 1 as integer number 2 as 3 dim answer as integer answer equal to number 1 exponential to number 2 you people know that one 3 raised to 5 oh 5 raised to 3 that is 5 multiply 5 multiply 5 5 5 ja 25 25 5 ja 125 concatenation operator means joining operator and person sign and plus character is used to string concatenation so very useful example for all of you that is public class form 1 in a code view of a vb.net form button 1 click event is given dim a as string equal to hello 
mean dim b as string equal to high when i use this concat operator as msg box means message box into that message box i want to show it a and b the answer will be hello sir then we have good example again with this dim answer as string answer equal to abhishek plus bachan string concatenation is there and when we used to display the message box msg box with answer you know that one that is 5 plus 7 arithmetic addition is there and when you do it like this it will be the answer will be 5 plus 7 it will be 12 here in a concat operation we are having double inverted comma is there into the string so we can take a look of that abhishek bachan will up to the unit 2 uh, this chapter and this concept thanks a lot